I've got 10 great ideas on why you should use tungsten lights on set, but we're only going to talk about four of them. That one, and that one, and that one, oh, and that one over there. I like that one too. So let's get started and see what we can do. We have a free business coaching class on September 28th at 5 p.m. You don't have to drive anywhere. You don't have to put your suit on. Come in your jammies and turn on the computer. We're going to teach you the daily routines for success. It's going to help you grow your business. That one call. So join us on September 28th at 5 p.m. Just go to thesledlens.com and sign up today. Don't miss out. You're going to love this call. So here's four reasons why tungsten lights are still really valuable when you're on set. And then a great review and look at this new light by Aperture called the 120T. Fabulous tungsten light. So the trend for a long time has been switching everything to LED daylight lights. That's fabulous. They're great matching with window light and daylight, but there are a lot of great reasons to use tungsten lights on set. I always like to have a set of tungsten lights with me, and let me tell you why. The number one reason to keep tungsten lights available when you're shooting on set is because you want to balance them to the practicals in the room. What are practicals? It's all the light bulbs in the lamps, in the stove, in the hallway, in the sconces. Those are all the practical lights. A lot of those are going to be tungsten balanced. It's just easier to light that way. You'll walk into a room and you'll say, wow, this looks pretty good. Then you turn all the practicals off and you go, wow, we've got a lot of work to do here. Well, there's no reason to do that to yourself. Turn those practicals on, use them as a fill light, kind of a soft fill, a little lower in your exposure. Then bring in your tungsten lights and kick in your highlight and your rim and you're ready to move ahead and it looks fabulous. So I use them all the time because I'm bouncing to the practicals that are in the room. Number two, I like to shoot daytime and make it look like night. So I'll set my color balance on tungsten which makes all of the sunlight blue and then I bring in my tungsten lights for my key and my rims and it gives me just a nice look. I have clean light with my tungstens. I don't have to put gels and all kinds of things to be able to make that work. I've just got a high powered light that's going to go in and do its job but you get that blue light from the ambient that's overhead with the sunlight. So it's a great way to cross the color and make daytime look like nighttime. Number three, stages still have a lot of tungsten lights installed in the grids. Yesterday we shot on a set and we had great lighting on the background, but it was all tungsten light. We could turn on one, two, three, or four, or five, or six lights in these big china type balls. There's no reason to fight that. And those are no reason to try to gel that. We're just simply going to turn those on, set our color balance on tungsten. We punch in nice highlights with our tungsten lights. We have this nice 120T for our nice highlights. We could use a 2K or a Source 4 to give us some rim. And it just is a great look. We turn everything on and we roll and it looks fabulous. We don't have to fight the lights that are in the ceiling already. Number four, I absolutely love this look. When I'm shooting in that magic hour towards dusk, and it's looking really beautiful outside, I will set my color balance to daylight, and then I want the warmth of the tungsten lights, the tungsten lights of the house, the tungsten lights of the Christmas lights. Well, then, of course, I'm going to punch in a highlight, a key light on my talent is tungsten light as well, and it feels warm. It makes them feel comfortable in that setting. It makes it feel like the house is lighting them. If you put a blue light on, they're going, where's that coming from? It doesn't feel consistent, but that nice, warm tungsten light makes them look like they're part of the house and makes it look very natural. They can be walking down the street, and you see this warm light come on them, like a street light is passing. A car is going by. Using those warm lights in that kind of nice time of the day feels very comfortable. It feels right to the viewer as they look at the subject matter. So there's four great reasons why tungsten lights are still very valuable on set. So now let's take a look at a new tungsten light that Aperture has. It's called the 120T. What I love about this light, and the reason we're reviewing it, is that A, it's a single LED light source. I love that because we just have the single LED in the front, which gives us one pinpoint light source. Not multiple shadows, not multiple crosses, you know, it's just one light source in the eye, one light source on set becomes a single light source, which is fabulous. It's also a Bowens mount. What that means is the Bowens mount is that I can put reflectors on it, I can put grids, and the reflectors, if I just want small pools of light, which is fabulous, I used that on set just this last uh, week and it was wonderful, I love working with grids. I can also put soft boxes on it with a speed ring, that Bowens mount, which is fabulous. It modifies more like strobes always modified for me and I'm used to working that way. It just gives me all those options in this Bowens mount. So let's talk about how this light is set up. It's got a cable out the back that runs into a ballast. That ballast you can hang on the stand, they got a nice strap for it so it hangs on the stand, gives the stand a little bit of weight so it won't fall over, which I like that. Now all of our controls are on here. We can dial our light up or down here. We can turn the light on and off here. We also, which was nice, out of the bottom of this goes an AC cord if we want to plug it into the wall. Or if we want to plug it to an Anton Power battery. I've got a plate on this for Anton Power. They also have them for V-mount. 
So you can do your battery on the back, which gives you the ability to run this on a battery as well, which is fabulous. You can't use these lights on location without having a battery on them. And they built that right into the uh, ballast. So you have all that there. It's equipped right, right from the beginning. So now for my six foot test. First, I get my meter six feet away. I turn all the lights off in the room. So it's just this light. And then I take a meter reading. Of course, I'm not doing that right now because all these lights are on. But on my meter reading, when I did that, I got 4.09 or basically 5.6 at 640 ISO. The reason I chose 640 for an ISO is people are all over the map with ISO. Some people are shooting up 3200. S-Log is natively 3200 for the Sony. Uh, C-Log, I mean, it's just people are using ISOs across the map. I didn't want to do 100 because that's just too low. A lot of people are going to push it up from there. I thought 640 was a nice place in the middle to be able to test all the lights. And so it gives us a nice kind of middle ground for everything. Every light I test, it's going to be 640 ISO, six feet away, and I'll give you a, a meter reading. That'll give you an idea of what this light does. And that way there's a constant when we review the different lights. That's a powerful light. That's a great light to work with on set. It is tungsten based, but there are some great uses for tungsten lights as I explained at the beginning of the lesson. And I might add a fifth, and that is if you have a bunch of tungsten lights, it's just nice to buy another tungsten light. Kind of move your package forward. One of the reasons that this is so valuable and a lot of the products from Aperture fall in this category is that it's very reasonably priced. It's $600, around $600. It comes with the head, the ballast, and the plate so you can put your batteries on it. It's just up and ready to go. That's a great price point for a good single LED uh, tungsten light. Fabulous price point. There are others out there that are more expensive, but you know what? You can pay twice or three times this and you won't necessarily get any more power. Uh, you might get a softer light, you might get a different use for the light, but this one holds its own for the price point is really a fabulous light. So to wrap this up, this light is very similar to a North Star light that I loved. It was made by Photoflex. They don't make them anymore. Now Photoflex North Star was a stop brighter, but it was also more than twice the cost. So this is a great light. The ability to modify it, which I absolutely love. The ability that you can AC or your batteries is fabulous. And last of all, it's powerful enough to use on set. It'll mix in with your 1K and your 2K and your Source 4. It's a light that is meant to be on set and compete in that world. So this becomes a great light at a price point that makes sense. It's portable, modifiable, and it's got a battery to go with it. So check it out on B&H or Amazon and just keep those cameras rolling, keep on clicking. Trisha Zemp made a stop motion out of the Slender Lens logo. She's gonna teach you how to do this and much, much more if you go to theslenderlens.com forward slash stop motion. Buy the download, it'll teach you everything you need to know about stop motion. Don't forget to subscribe to The Slanted Lens. Like us on Facebook. Tell your mother about us. Tell your mother's mother about us.